So welcome to season five of the Mindfulness Pilates podcast. I'm Beverly Densham, Mindfulness Pilates teacher of over 25 years and author. I really look forward to bringing you tips to reduce back pain to feel good, as well as working through stress to calm, with relaxation, positive affirmations and inspiration every week to inspire you in body and mind. Feel stronger, happy and calm. Hello, the podcast is back. Finally, it's back. If you've been wondering where it's gone, it's been on a very long holiday. So if you have been, had been enjoying the podcast and wonder where it's gone, yeah, it ended up being a very long holiday. But now I'm going to be back regularly for you. I'm uh, going to do an re- episode for you every other week, and apart from holiday weeks, of course. And I just really hope you enjoy it again. And I thought today's episode would be more of a chit-chat, um, how are you today? How are you feeling? What do you need in your body, mind, life, work? And yeah, let's keep each other company on the podcast. I'd love to know where you listen to the podcast. I'm a bit of a podcast listener when I'm out walking or cooking in the kitchen or cleaning in the kitchen or on the path with my bike going from A to B. That's when I'm often listening to a podcast or cleaning the house or not my favorite thing but it I, it makes it much better when I have a podcast to listen to so I really hope you enjoy and benefit from the podcast being back again today's first episode is going to be about a, my journey update for you uh, both personally and professionally and then we'll resume more the usual format um, I will include today a positive affirmation card message of the day for you and got an airplane meditation for you today, which I really hope you find useful, either if you're flying somewhere, or if just simply you want to de-stress and relax and recharge your batteries. So the usual format is doing a theme of the week and three tips for you with the meditation and affirmation of the week. So there will be solo episodes like today, and then there'll be a guest. So I usually sort of, I won't promise exactly, exactly, but yeah, that's the that's the plan is to do to do that so oh gosh where do I start with this episode <laughs> oh, where do I start with this episode it's been quite a year and I'm not talking from January December I'm just talking you know a year from the last time we were here so much has happened oh my goodness so I am a mum a single parent to my son Sammy he's now 18 years old I don't know where the time went um I no longer have a child I have a young adult now so he had a, his lovely 18th birthday and there was a gorgeous family wedding with my niece and still really loving Dorset being by the sea so these are the sort of positive you know kind of the positive things of the year um, I still love going out in nature and walks and hot and cold showers I still love going to coffee shops and journaling I've really really over the last year I've gone even more crazy into journaling myself personally but of course I do teach it professionally um, in both my stress to calm work and the mindfulness Pilates classes and one-to-one programs clients find it very very beneficial actually most clients do it but yeah personally I really enjoy the doing that in a coffee shop and swimming in the sea um, I found actually a cold water swimming kind of club I've only been twice so far so I'll keep you posted on this journey And I love meeting up with a friend or family to swim in the sea as well, all year round, rain or shine. So I'll keep you posted on that journey too. So that's a bit about the personal journey of the year. And um, last year, last year was challenging. It was good and it was challenging. Uh, I don't know about you, um, different things can happen in life, can't they? And I thought I would share a little bit how my back's doing because a friend of mine's got a podcast and, and she shares little updates. And I thought, actually, maybe I will share that with you too here. Because for some people, Pilates makes them completely sorted and other people need Pilates. You know, so you've got the first person who, you know, is just injury free and they do Pilates and it makes them feel great. And you've got the next person who's like, uh, gets, sits at the desk all day, gets very stiff. And if they do Pilates, they feel much better you know, and less headaches and less tension in the neck, shoulders and everything like that. And then you've got the next person who gets unnecessarily injured. So I will be interviewing um, one of these clients actually for you in a in another episode to share their story of going in, in and out of injury, like a vicious cycle. I'm hoping with this particular client and inspir- inspirational person I will be interviewing, 
that they have finally broken the cycle because they end up, in their own words, wasting time and money going to the osteopath, being in pain, experiencing back muscle spasm, wasting time and money going to the osteopath. Yes, it does help. And then, but then doing their Pilates again. And since they've been doing the Pilates again regularly, they haven't had that. They haven't had any recurrence of pain. So that's for the person. It's very unnecessary to be going to a practitioner because you know, all they need to do is more self-care and daily six minutes Pilates. And they're now doing three classes a week with me. So, you know, that's just really, really fantastic. And uh, Julie New will be uh, being interviewed again. Actually, she has been on the podcast before, but I'm going to be one of the guests coming up. Um, next guest is actually going to be Susie Greatbanks. She's a business coach and she's going to share her pain to injury free story after you know, quite a big operation, actually. But I'll let her share that with you. So that's a bit of what we've got coming up. But what I was saying about the up and downs of uh, the work journey, you know, tell you a bit about why I didn't keep the podcast going. Actually, it's just budget. I mean, perhaps I, just, I could have thought of getting a you know, sponsor for the podcast or something, but actually it was budget. Work was going very well, but not well enough. Um, to keep the budget of the podcast going so here we are we're back <laughs> that also caused a lot of stress I think with stress it can, it can come from so many different angles and sometimes it can be financial and it was that for me and I, I thought I'd share honestly on the podcast what what was going on I did end up with high anxiety at times actually not all the time because I'm a very positive and solution focused person but anxiety that got so big that I did have um, many panic attacks actually and it was all down to that so um, at one point I did apply for some part-time work as well which may or may may well may surprise you but in the end <laughs> it's it's on the up um, but on that down those down moments there were moments in that year a few times when I got felt so low mentally and it was a situational low as opposed to a low all the time it wasn't suicidal or anything like that but it was so low that I didn't care if I woke up in the morning a few times and that's obviously very severe I will um, put a note in the show notes at the top of I'm mentioning that today. So it was very difficult at times because I couldn't see how I was going to turn it around, basically telling more people about my work. <laughs> but um, I, I, I got there in the end and um, no more panic attacks, I'm glad to report, and no more how it anxiety. And yeah, I've gone back to the roots of teaching more and more mindfulness Pilates, which has been wonderful. Now, I now have eight classes a week at the zoom studio so on that note yeah I was like how much shall I share with you today um and I was like actually I'm I feel like I'm going to share be honest because you can look at somebody from the outside and you don't know what's going on the inside or how they're feeling or what's happening with their mental health just because somebody looks okay or smiles a lot doesn't mean that in private they're having some really difficult moments um, all I'd like to say on that is please reach out for the help you need so for me it was voicing it to close friends um, I now have I've got a personal coach which is really supportive as well and I've now got a business coach which is nice too so yeah things are on the up so I've got eight classes a week at in classes at the zoom studio so I do teach on zoom permanently now because it works clients are getting the same benefits which is really rewarding six of those are bus for business women but I do teach sort of everybody um, that wants to work with me kind of thing then we've got the one-to-one -one program and then something that's going really well, actually, as well, is I do the free taster classes where you can try a free Pilates taster class with me on Zoom. So it doesn't matter where you live in the world in exchange for a testimonial. And that is working very, very well. And it's growing all the time. It's my birthday in December. And my goal is to work with another 50 clients at the studio because I have space and classes for that many more clients to work with. So I'll keep you posted on that. And then something else that happened last year actually a lot's happened in a year work-wise and I must share it with you so I'm just going to have a bit of tea here cheers and that is so I had a client I can talk about her because she's given me a testimonial her name's Anna and she came she's a lawyer and a partner in a, a law firm called Robery Morris and she booked in with me because of stress levels and the stress levels were quite high personally and professionally and 
so we've worked on a one-to-one -one program together to start with, just a short one-to-one -one program. And that's all she needed, actually. And then it was about maintenance and then practicing the tools regularly. So she did then start doing the mindfulness Pilates classes as well. But what I realized at that point was I could take the Pilates exercises out of out of the one-to-ones in the sessions and teach at the desk sitting and standing and no, not needing a mat or anything like that and I devised these seven one-minute tools which I call stress to calm tools and then I ended up teaching more and more lawyers <laughs> and more and more law firms and I ended up teaching Anna's law firm at the desk so we worked together for six months actually and yeah, it's really, really rewarding. And the tools that I teach in that are meditation. And I teach how to use positive affirmations. And there's many, many levels of that. There's many, many different types of meditation and breathing that I teach. Um, tool, that's tool one and two. Tool three is desk stretching. So that's good posture. That's for the neck, the shoulders, and the the back in a very very gentle simple way and power desk stretching to improve the posture stretch chest and shoulders to bring more happiness confidence and success and strengthen the mid-back muscles uh, where have we got to on the tools here that's tool four and also there's really interesting research and science behind each tool as well which is um or, or a study or research behind it um, tool five is uh, one I've made up, which is really fantastic. When I say I've made it up, I've, I've kind of pieced different tools together. So it combines meditation and breathing with positive affirmations, with smiling and with high power pose, which is, for example, a version of a high power pose can either be hands on the hip, hands at the side of the neck, good posture, obviously not something like a banana or with the arms in the air. So this one is with the arms in the air, punching it's a bit more than that and in one minute you can really kind of you can boost you can boost your mood you can boost your energy you can um boost your mindset your happiness and you feel better and you feel much much calmer and stronger and less stressed and more resilient so it's a really special one it's very popular I've taught it a lot in the last year so yeah, I teach it in whether it's mindfulness Pilates or whether it's stress to calm teaching. Fantastic. Uh, that's tool five. Uh, tool six is one minute journaling. Very popular, actually. Very helpful. Very therapeutic. I will delve into journaling. I'm look. I'd like to um, interview an interesting author psychologist next year on the podcast. Let's delve into you know hopefully inspiring and motivating you with why these tools work I mean I can tell you from some of the research another week but yeah really really effective journaling actually and num tool number seven goal setting visualization but particularly for personal life is something that I learned a lot in sports psychology in my sports science degree days very long time ago but it's been really fantastic for uh, corporate lawyers law firms at the desk helping with work-life balance and just having to switch off time really helpful actually and what happened from there is I kept getting the idea I you know okay I'm, I'm teaching all these workshops and I and I I started bringing in some of my sports science statistics into it by I was like I took everyone's either an individual or a whole law firm stress score before and after each individual in that law firm for example stress score before and after each working through stress to calm workshop and or class at the desk 30 minutes 45 minutes for workshops and 30 minutes for the classes and using these seven one minute tools or yeah maybe teaching multiple versions of them at times and the typical reduction in stress is 40 to 75 percent was the average there have been times there have been 100% improvement. Um, I taught a nurse actually one-to-one -one, um, and in her first session, 100% reduction in stress. And she was very stressed, actually. Not off the scale, but just below off the scale of stress, actually. So that was amazing. And the, the time when there's been no change, actually, um, has been when somebody's come just come back from holiday, that sort of thing. So that's quite interesting. So... 
And I was like, I kept getting this recurring idea, thought this would be help so much in a book. This would help so much in a book. And then I'd, I'd put it aside and I'd forget about it and be back at work or looking after my little family. And um, the thought would keep recurring and it recurred so many times. But eventually I took action, contacted my publisher, Caroline at McNidda and Grace, and they loved the idea so much <laughs> that we, well, we've now written our first book. And I say our because it's now our book. Um, I have a co-author now. So they said, well, would you like to write the book? Not just one book. I asked for one book, actually. <laughs> they get you to fill out this detailed author questionnaire. And uh, lots of detail and who do you want to help and why you're writing the book and everything. And it was very clear I wasn't just writing this book for everybody, that I was also really wanting to also help particular people in different professions as well. So they said, would you like to write the book with uh, Jamie Lee Grace? And I said, yes, that was that. <laughs> Thank goodness, because I think it would be too much doing it all on my own. So I'm very grateful. I have a co-author who's wonderful to work with and also a friend, Jamie Lee Grace, who is a holistic author of many, many books. Her last book was called Happy, Healthy, Sober. Yeah, fantastic author. And she has the Sober Club and the Sober Coach Training and former BBC presenter um, with um, Radio 2, Steve Bright in the afternoon, and, you know, former singer <laughs> with Wham, and oh my goodness, yeah, it's a very interesting career, and yeah, fantastic to work with and write with on this, and she's holistic author of over six books, so yeah, kind of the queen of healthy living, and um, she's taught me so much on my journey, which I'm really grateful for, she's helped my health a lot actually which is ongoing in the improvement so thank you to our, my, our publisher and thank you Jamie so the first book <laughs> the first book is called stress to calm in seven minutes for lawyers I'm just I most of you are listening to this but some of you um can see the picture here so it's got a lovely kind of beautiful turquoise col color very modern uh, beautiful cover but also as I said my publishers sort of saw more in in where we wanted to help so the, the next, we've got a book coming out for teachers as well, Stress to Calm in Seven Minutes for Teachers. That will be out next year. And Stress to Calm in Seven Minutes for Nurses as well. So excited to be helping schools and teachers going forward and nurses and the NHS and hospitals. And yeah, it's very exciting. And of course, the, you know, the lawyers book, it's not just for lawyers, it's for the whole team, you know, it's for the whole team. When I work with a team, I don't just, unless I'm working one-to-one -one with one lawyer, I work with the whole team, you know, meaning the assistant or PA to one of the lawyers and everyone in the team, which is really, really very rewarding and great. So, yeah, that, that's all happened. It's like, oh, my goodness. And I've already, we've already got Waterstones. It's, always, it's already um, kind of w with Waterstones on their website. And obviously, Amazon, you can get it pre-order already, 28th of November, put it in your diary. <laughs> is the launch day it's going to be launched in UK and the USA so that's very exciting it will be straight straight away paperback straight away paperback and kindle and then watch this space for audiobook and things like that um yeah so how about that <laughs> let's celebrate let's celebrate with a cup of tea <laughs> uh dear. So, yeah, that's kind of the news on that front. So last year we were busy researching the book and writing and it's being edited as we speak um, in preparation for the big day. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe it's happening. It is happening. So that is that. It is happening. So, yeah, it's really good news. So moving on from that. Yeah. So, yeah, if you need help on the stress side for you or company that you know or work with, then I can help you with that on Zoom. <laughs> so, yeah, I do a little bit of in-person work as well. Um, but, yeah. Um, okay, moving on. So, as promised, there will be an affirmation and a meditation. We're going to do that next. So, the positive affirmation card message of the day for you today is, I stretch every day. This is from the Happy and Calm card. Sorry, they are currently sold out, but we'll get them back in stock soon. Um, obviously, I have the happy 
kids' cards for the children as well. Also, sorry, sold out in a minute. But anyway, well, let's just talk about the affirmation. So it's, I stretch every day. What does that mean to you today? Have you stretched today? Do you feel like you could do with a good stretch today? One of my clients said to me that, um, sent an email to me earlier in the week. Like, so I've practiced my daily six minutes Pilates, but I felt like some of them I needed to do twice, some of the stretches. And is that okay? She said. I said, yes, it is, it is 100% okay. It's very good. We all need to move more. We all need to stretch more, including myself. So I hope um, that helps you. And meditation. So this meditation was inspired because for the first time in years, I think nearly, nearly, think nearly 10 years, I've actually been on an airplane and flew somewhere. And um, yeah, very, very short trip, two days literally with my son uh, to visit a university. Anyway, what was I going to say to you? Yeah, oh, it was a challenge traveling, I'll be honest, um, in some ways. It was only short, short, a uh, short flight. However, I just sat on the plane and I started meditating and I started making up this particular aeroplane meditation, which I'm treating you to today. So I hope you find it really useful. Now there's a takeoff. You can do this at takeoff. You can do this at landing as well. Or you can simply enjoy it right here, right now, wherever you are. But don't do it when you're driving, obviously. Yeah, if you, you, I mean, some people say, oh, I've used that to help me sleep better or things like that, or de-stress. Of course, you can use it any time. But I particularly did it for the takeoff and the landing. It's quite short, so I hope you enjoy it today. So I'll be back after the meditation. Enjoy your meditation. So welcome to your plane meditation. This is when you're on an aeroplane, taking off and landing, sitting or lying comfortably, close your eyes. And you're gonna be counting between one and five, starting off with breathing in for one and out for one. In through your nose, out through your mouth, relax. If you like, you can count on your fingers or you can just count in your mind. On the next in and out breath, you're going to breathe in for two and out for two. Relax. Let your tummy rise and fall. And now in for three, out for three. Relax. Feeling more and more calm and relaxed on each out breath. And decide in your mind where your destination is going to be. You're taking off now and you're feeling so calm and relaxed as you go in for four, out for four, relax. Relaxing your head, neck and shoulders and now in for five, out for five, relax. And then what you do is you can just repeat as many of those cycles of five as you like or you can take it into the next version with the breath holding as well. In for one, hold your breath for up to one, out for one, relax. Well done. And now it's gonna be in for two, hold the breath for up to two, out for two, relax. You need to take an extra breath in between or yawn, that is absolutely fine. And now in for three, out for three, relax. Feeling calmer and calmer and more and more relaxed. Now in for four, hold your breath for up to four, out for four, relax. releasing through your back, hips, thighs, legs and feet. And finally in for five, hold your breath for up to five, out for five, relax. Take a breath in or yawn. And you can repeat this cycle of fives for as long as you like as you're taking off. 
You're now cruising along nice and smoothly. You've now had a wonderful flight and journey. You're at the very end of your flight and you can go back into this breathing as you go into landing. And you feel so calm and relaxed and strong with so much happiness and resilience as you land and you've landed at your destination now. And it was a really, really good flight. And you enjoyed your little relax for a minute or two or more. Take a breath in or yawn. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. And stay there to do this meditation for as long as you like. Okay, so welcome back after the meditation. How do you feel? Did you enjoy it? Obviously, very welcome to share this episode, and um, including the meditation with any friends um, on your social media, wherever you'd like to, if you feel it could help them and inspire them in some way. So yeah, that was the meditation of the week um, for you this week. Um, and as I said, obviously, every episode, we have a little meditation for you. And um, I think that's about it for today's episode. So um, don't forget you can join me at my Zoom studio for a free Pilates taster class. Um, just to let you know on them, a few questions I had. I did have a question in this week. Um, they are in my one-to-one in my -one program, which I teach just one client. And I can see what you're doing and I can correct you and make sure you're doing it in correct alignment and all of that sort of thing, which is very, very important. In the beginners class, in the beginners class, it is complete beginners or get back into Pilates. We start right at the basic level, check your techniques really good, start with the basic core stability, do your warm up standing or sitting in a chair if that's better, then onto the mat and starting with the breathing again, then going into gentle stretching, going into gentle basic core stability, make sure you're doing it right, you know what you're doing. <laughs> um, basic back strengthening and more stretching and more breathing and relax and then finish with a standing stretch or sitting stretch at the end if that's better. Just teach max, usually maximum five with the beginners classes so that you've got individual attention. Nobody ever goes straight into a class. Many clients as well, I do a telephone or Zoom consultation before that as well or come to the beginners, do the beginners small group class. So it means that when you are ready to go into a class, You've either had that one-to-one -one program or you're properly taught um, beginners small group class. And then in the actual regular classes, which I run, um, as I said earlier, oh, you know, eight a week now at this moment in time, it's growing. Yeah, maximum 10 I teach in those. That works really well too. So it's been great to catch up with you today. Um, please do the review thing or rate it or share it on LinkedIn or social media. It'd be amazing. I, I hope I hope it's helped and inspired you in some way today. And um, yeah, all is well now in my world here. It's uh, building and growing. And yeah, life is like the waves of the sea, isn't it? You know, there are good, challenging, and sad times of life. But the thing I love about what I do is I need it. But I love to teach it to you and inspire you with it. Yeah, if I get a book inspiration, then if you've got one, <laughs> don't ignore it. <laughs> um you know it's it's just it's just really rewarding really and I'm so glad it's growing again because it was a big very big move relocating from Hertfordshire to Dorset nine years ago and starting all over again pandemic pretty tough um and but yeah you know what I'm like I do like to look mo mostly on the sunny side of things but um know, know that we all need support during these good challenging sad times of life too so yeah, always ask for help. And yeah, have a beautiful, beautiful week. Feel stronger, happy and calm. Lots of love. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Mindfulness Pilates podcast. Please rate and review on your podcast platform. You can access the free healing meditation and Pilates to ease back pain in three minutes morning routine on my website 
and you can also book your free Pilates taster class at the Zoom studio, one-to-one -one Pilates program and mindfulness Pilates classes and more at www.mindfulnesspilates.com.